All right, hey Aries. So you guys, I am doing a singles love read for you. The intention is set for new energy. So if you feel a past person's trying to creep back into your life, you guys just turn it off real quick and go to your moon rising or Venus uh, um, video, please. Keep the, pots, the, the comments positive, please and thank you. And um, if you're new, welcome to my channel, you guys. I hope that you stick around, subscribe, hang out. Uh, I posted a, um, a new thread today, so uh, and it's a link to my website to show you guys the readings that I do, the different kinds, um, and how to, to send communication. All right. <clears throat> so that's the first time I'm actually kind of really announcing that that website. I wanted to post some more or get some more links up for you guys. Um, and I will be it's still in, in process. So um, everything is done through my email right now. You're coming through with the ch a whole chakra balance. All right. So this is going to be um, where you're going to want to do like a quick uh, chakra tune up. If you are um, if you feel like you're fully unblocked. This is a 30 day intention read. So I feel what your spirit guides and angels are saying, just do a, a, a chakra cleanse, a, a tune up, a balancing. Um, and um, all things work best in conjunction with all things. So it's, it's given us a list of uh, crystals, clear quartz, amethyst, lapis lazuli, jade, citrine, carnelian, smoky quartz coming through. All right. So a complete chakra tune up. And then we got the sacred, the sacral uh, chakra that you want to um, do a block, uh, an unblocking on. All right. And we have fire agate creation and the flames of destruction ignite a rebirth. Um, and that could be, you know, just the last relationship that you had just kind of threw you one for a loop. And um, with that uh, negative energy comes positive, positive, positive outcomes. So let's see who we're talking to. I'm going to pull your energy right now. All right. So your energy Look at that. The flames of destruction ignite a rebirth and the death card coming through is a transformation. Look at you are ready to go, man. Look at the flames of dis destruction will ignite a rebirth. So you could have just been going and, and keeping right to yourself. You know what? Like the, uh, um, especially Aries, if you're on a spiritual journey, it's like, you know, that, uh, uh 3d people and those type of uh, situations fall away from you. Could just be too, that you've just been keeping to yourself lately going through this transformation. But I feel that you're um, completely in this abounding energy it's like brand new you're ready you're you're ready for love like it's spring it's it's summer you're ready so what does your past love life look like your past love life this is going to be interesting because i feel like you've been through a lot <clears throat> possibly with people who have just put you through the ringer um the 10 of so here's what i'm gonna say um, okay. So for some of you guys, you could have actually been through a pretty shitty divorce, um, with justice kind of showing up. Um, it could be that you guys, uh, you know what it's like, here's what I'm going to say. I don't typically always read reversals, but it's like, I thought I found my uh, wish fulfillment. I've thought, you know, in the past I found my happiness, um, but there wasn't a lot of harmony. Okay. It kind of faded. You guys um, could have had relationships where you've, uh, um, thought about money didn't have you had lack all right um you know the um the facade of the happy life you know um it, it could have ended right there you know with a family with young children in tow where you thought everything was supposed to be hunky dory and happy um it was at one point um but i feel like you guys um you know uh, it didn't work for whatever reason i feel that some of you guys could have had financial turmoil um, you know, in, in a connection, um, some of you guys, uh, with the two of swords coming through, maybe I didn't see, um, the whole trait of a person that you were dealing with. All right. Um, the world card coming through says that, you know, um, I I'm done. I I'm done. Um, I'm, I'm done with heartbreak. I'm healing from it. And I don't want anybody, I don't want anybody coming in and messing up my tune right now because you are in the zone right now. All right. That's what I feel. You, you've been through a lot. Quite possibly, you could have had a few different relationships. I do feel that you were married at one point in time. Um, it doesn't have to be for everybody, but a long-term uh, committed relationship. Okay. 
Um, how you look at love right now, though, is you're ready for the victory, man. And it's going to be here at a moment's notice. And it's like, you're ready for it. So nothing is going to surprise you. All right. And it could be, too, that you've met somebody just recently. And um, that's what, where that Ace of Wands is coming through. All right. But you're ready. You're ready for flawless, man. You're ready for your ships to come in. You're ready for the win. You're ready to uh, um, enjoy life and settle down with somebody and, and somebody that meets you on your level. Right. So let's see who's coming towards you for Aries. The Nine of Cups. So this is going to be somebody who definitely floats those boats that we've seen coming through. The Hermit card. Look at that. This person's been through. Wow, this is a brand new person coming through. And this person um, has cleared a lot of um, old past energy. This is somebody who's been through self-reflection period. And this is somebody too that I feel is very, very spiritually in tune. All right. The hermit card is not the hierophant, but I do feel with the hermit energy coming through this person, um, they are spiritually aware. They are, uh, um, they're awakened to a certain degree. This full card tells me that this person is brand new. All right. So no, no one from the past coming through here. And with the nine of cups, um, this is going to be somebody who truly, truly, truly knows how to um, embody their own wish fulfillment receive that give it to themselves so i feel like they're going to be able to match that energy with with you and give that back to you so what are what are they like look at that the emperor card showing up as a uh, um a divine counterpart man this person's been through a lot the seven of swords in reverse tells me that this person's had their share of ups and downs just like you have they've had their heart broken all right um and the fact that it comes in reverse you guys tells me that this person doesn't embody this energy it, it tells me that they've had to get they've had to transmute that and i feel like they've been doing the same almost the same thing you have been doing with that um hermit card and that's what puts them in this emperor status this person's um aware and awakened and ready just like you are all right so that's very very good energy um some common interests that you guys will share some common interests that you guys will share all right i feel that the eight of swords coming through is um you're going to actually feel such a closeness to this person um that you're going to be able to tell them things that you have not um ever even told anybody stuff that you have held on to stuff that has hurt you or pained you this person's going to be like a blanket of warmth that just comes right in and you could just open up that heart space right to them so you're not holding on to anything anymore all right the nine of coins uh, for common interest tells me you guys potentially both make some good money and you are ready to um this is how it is um you guys have actually um kind of structured your and tailored your life in such a way that you know that nobody's going to make you happy so you've had to do it yourself all right and um i feel that 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 self-sufficiency is going to be like number one in your guys's life so you're not putting it's like this um you're not going to break plans um to go it's like it's like if your friends ask you and you've had plans you're not going to break it to go with this new person this new energy because that's not what you do um i feel like you guys are, you're not going to take advantage of that and i feel like that's going to be like a core interest and um the the another common interest that you guys are going to have is this the soulmate card is showing up so a lot of communication stripping um away all right and the original tarot um the two of cups there's the they they're cheersing right and there's a snake and the snake is a representation of shedding the skin. So being able to bear it all and truly just kind of embark on this new special journey together. All right. So you, there's a lot of communication right here. And I feel that you're going to be able to express things to each other um, through so much love and comfort that, um, you know, without a doubt that this person's not going to, they're going to treasure your your past just like you will theirs. So it's something that you guys are really going to resonate with, with it when it comes to each other. The favorable aspects of this, look at that, co-creation, building an empire. You guys, from that Nine of Coins card right there, it tells me that you both probably make pretty good money. Um, and if you, even if you don't, if you, I'm not saying that you have to be rich or anything, but putting your guys' heads together is really going to be something, um, it's going to be something amazing for this um, this compatibility. Um, 
the favorable aspects coming through is honesty, loyalty, laughter, um, sarcasm, um, a good sense of humor, all right, but business minded, um, a good single parent, um, and and that could be one or both of you guys, but you're really coming in, um, even if this person doesn't have kids and say you do, they're going to be an awesome single uh, or an awesome um fill in when it comes to that time um, and vice versa all right with the two of uh, wands this is saying we know the path that we're taking together so there is no more wishy-washy going on all right favorable aspects as you guys are walking through the gate together you're going to build an empire together and you're going to end up um living life together this is it man so let's just see what your advice is to call this person in the advice all right so um we have the full moon coming out tomorrow right for those of you um who are into that moon stuff um it's time to really pull out of any sad energy all right it's time to lop away the past write it anything else that you feel could be hindering i'm um, calling in this person um write it down on paper tonight and burn it or tomorrow night write it down any any past um worries fears hurts all right um, write it down and burn it, you guys, because it's going to put you in alignment with this person that I do feel um, is, is going to be um, an indication of marriage, the, the twin flame, the soulmate journey, however you guys want to look at that. Um, but look at union is coming. Unity is coming. Union is coming. So it's time to wipe away anything from the past um, because this person's ready to come in. All right. So um, let's just from there get a soulmate card for Aries what's coming through you have in order to in order for you to heal your relationship with another you must first heal the relationship you have with yourself forgive yourself accept yourself and love yourself all right and then we have trust in the healing power of love for it is only through love that happiness is possible Observe all that transpires, but don't get emotionally attached. The storm will clear. You can be of assistance to the one you love only if you remain positive. And I feel like that could be future tense. All right. Speaking. So let's see who's, uh, let's see what signs we got. We have Gemini, a Sagittarius and cancer coming through and initials. Four. All right. Looks like you guys have a bonus couple. Um, this is going to be yours or this person's first, middle, or last initial. However, this is what matters. It's not the initials. All right. Um, and if your initials don't show up, think of it as the person that's coming towards you. We have R A F O N Z Q and i all right guys i'm gonna leave it there love you guys please if this is confirmation comment um even if you're just ready to take action on this you guys i ask you to uh, comment like the video so we can um, get it circulated and and everybody else has a opportunity to watch this um, beautiful beautiful read you guys take it easy